Hi, my name is Susie Rhodes and I will be your teacher. Thank you so much for choosing Test Teachers as your online pre-license education provider. We have been teaching people just like you to pass your pre-licensing exam on your first attempt for over 35 years. Let's get started. Section 1, Life Insurance, Types of Policies. I grew up in this industry, but I really never thought much about life insurance until I graduated from college and got married right away. We moved away from our hometown to a new place, got pregnant. My husband got a job where he had to drive very far to go to work. And my friends told me that the road that he was driving down to go to work every day was called Pray For Me. 93. So we had moved from Arizona, where it's warm, to Boulder, Colorado, where it snows all the time. And here was my husband driving down, pray for me, 93, to go to work every day. And I thought, ah, I need life insurance. What if something happened? Here I'd be alone with a baby. So we went out and we bought our first life insurance policy. So life insurance isn't something that you think about when you're young and healthy, which is actually when you should buy it because you're underwritten on your age, your health, at the time you buy the policy. So we went ahead and got it, but it's generally not until you're older when you realize how important life insurance is. So there's lots of different types of life insurance policies that a person can purchase. So it's important that we understand the different characteristics of each of these types of policies. We're going to start off with what is called whole life. Whole life is sometimes called traditional life insurance. It's the very first life insurance product that was invented. You'll sometimes see it referred to as ordinary whole life. Whole life is a type of permanent protection. So that's something that they will love on your test. Whole life insures you for your whole life. It's permanent. It lasts forever until you die or Statistically speaking, we should all be gone from this world by age 100. So whole life is a type of permanent policy that provides protection from the time in which you purchase it until you die or until you reach age 100. So let me show you a little bit about how it works. The most important key to whole life is that it's protection that lasts till age 100. Let's say you're 30 years old and you decide that you want to purchase some life insurance. So the underwriter at the insurance company is going to most usually ask you to pass a physical exam. So you're going to be underwritten based upon your gender, your age, your health, your hobbies, which the test will call your avocation versus your vocation, which is also an underwriting factor. Your vocation is your job. So they're going to put you through underwriting and they're going to determine a premium based upon what is called your original age, the age you are when you purchase the policy. So whole life permanent lasts until you are what age? Age 100. Whole life has a fixed premium. So the premium, like I had said earlier, is based upon these items at this point. So for example, let's say when I bought my life insurance at age 30, I didn't smoke, but when I was 40, I started smoking. Eh, don't do that. But let's say that that happened. They can't change my premiums. My premiums are fixed. They're based upon the things that were true when I purchased the policy. So this is my premium, it will not change. Let's say I buy a face amount, so this is the death benefit, of $100,000. So whole life, purchased at age 30, fixed premium, $100,000 face amount. Now, you can purchase different face amounts. This is just the example that we're going to use for the class. $1,000 is my premium. That premium is never going to change. It's going to always be $1,000. So I have this permanent protection. And one of the things that's very nice about whole life is they're going to take my premium and they're going to put it into what is called the insurance company's general account. 
and they're going to pay me a guaranteed interest rate. So this is a policy that has cash value. Whole life is a cash value type of policy. So in the general account, the insurance company promises to pay a guaranteed interest rate. So the interest 